Welcome to MT's Corner with Maisha Sierra, where we discuss celebrity news, acting advice, and everything in between that has to do with acting. So sit back and enjoy yourself and enjoy my opinion. Hey everybody, welcome back to MT's Corner with Maisha Sierra. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be updated on every time I drop a new video. Let's talk about Terry Crews and why I don't trust black actors like him. For those of you who do not know, Terry Crews has put his foot in his mouth again. Again, you say? Again? Yes, again. Let me start a little bit back from the beginning. I personally was a huge fan of Terry Crews growing up as a kid because he got his start in black films. Films like Friday After Next, Norbit, White Chick, The Longest Yard, Soul Plane. And he even had his own TV show, Everybody Hates Chris, which I love. So he was a huge part of my black childhood. And at the time, of course, I didn't know that all skin folk ain't kin folk. His first incident was the Donald Sterling incident when he had a Vlad interview and said, My thoughts are all about, with Donald Sterling, we need to forgive him. Mm. We need to forgive Donald Sterling because this is the thing. You've done it too. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty. Would I hang out with Donald Sterling? No. Is he a my friend? Not at all. Do you think Do he I want to go to Cooper game? That's no. what I was going to say. No. But should he have his team taken from him? No. I didn't even know about this situation until I did more research. And I'm confused. For an owner of a team or former owner now of the Clippers to say that he didn't want his mistress. Oh, yes, that's right his mistress to bring any black people to the games when the NBA is full of black players. That is quite confusing. Now, if I had known this first, then I would have never been a supporter of Terry Crews to begin with, but I didn't. So my first time ever seeing any headlines about Terry Crews having a controversial moment was when he was sexually assaulted in 2016. Now, being a victim of sexual assault, I and a lot of other women especially black women, came to his defense. However, there were a lot of men who found it to be a joke because he's such a big man. Why couldn't he fight that man off of him? He didn't speak out into the next year in 2017 and women like Gabrielle Union even supported him. She said, Terry Crews is a stand-up guy, literally one of the nicest people in our industry. He's honest, kind, and true professional. I believe him and stand by him. Hashtag me too. But little did she know that that man was going to throw her completely under the bus. He didn't defend Gabrielle Union after her allegations of being racially discriminated against due to her hair and other things on America's Got Talent, where Terry Crews happened to be the host. Terry said, First of all, I can't speak for sexism because I'm not a woman, but I can't speak on behalf of any racism comments. That was never my experience on America's Got Talent. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been. Now, after he did that interview, a lot of black people and especially black women were looking at him like, dude, stay on code. He clearly doesn't even know the definition of intersectionality because you may be black, but you're not a black woman. So you will never know what Gabrielle Union experiences. It was just so confusing to me why he is a professional didn't just say, I don't know all the details of that situation. I am not going to speak on her situation. And after he received backlash because of that, he came out and tried to defend Gabrielle, but not before he said, I don't have to protect any woman except for my wife. I mean, the man even didn't want to protect his own daughters, but I guess whatever. But once everyone came and addressed him and said, you know what, Terry, you're wrong for the way you're treating this situation. He had this to say at Gabrielle. I want you to know it was never my intention to invalidate your experience, but this is what I did. I apologize. You have been through a lot in this business, and with that, I empathize with the struggle towards fairness and equality in the workplace. I hear you, I respect you, and understand you. I'm sorry, and I'm here to support you. I spoke from my own personal point of view without first taking in consideration someone else's experience. And maybe that would have been all good and dandy. However, most recently, because hashtag Black Lives Matter is trending, everyone has their input on if Black Lives Matter actually matter to them. And Terry had this to say, defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. Like it or not, we are all in this together. And then his longtime co-host on Everybody Hates Chris said, I'm not trying to call you out at Terry Crews. You know, it's all love always, but we're rightfully angry right now and fed up with anyone not with our cause 
wholeheartedly. I don't want to see that energy pointed your way or diverted from the cause. And after Terry started receiving a lot of backlash, he said, any black person who calls me a coon or Uncle Tom for promoting equality is a black supremacist because they have determined who's black and who's not. And to that, Godfrey said, I love you as a friend, Brother Terry, but I disagree with you 100%. No such thing as black supremacy. That is a tactic that racist whites use to counteract our rebellion to their horrific treatment of us. It's called gaslighting. Black pride is an anti-white. And Godfrey's right. And then Amanda Seals came in with her pettiness and she said, How did none of y'all tell me what Terry Crews was over on Twitter doing last night? <laughs> mm. Now here is my take on it. I don't like black actors like Terry Crews because they use the black culture just how a white culture vulture would. Well, they'll come in, they'll be a part of our films, they'll do our dances, they'll act as if they're down with the culture all while profiting off the culture. And as soon as they get closer to whiteness in their tax bracket or rich white people that is, they will then act as if they don't know where they came from or if they didn't spend all their early years and black comedy films produced by black people, filmed by black people, directed by black people with black castmates. And then they spout a lot of things and a lot of the ideologies that Terry Crews spouts. Actors like that are only out for themselves. When Terry Crews had his assault situation, he wanted all the support that he could get. And he felt horrible when he didn't receive support from his fellow black man and men in general. But then he doubled down and went back and said, he didn't care about anybody's reasoning and the only person he had to protect was his wife when it came down to the Gabrielle Union situation. You can't want support for your causes and then when people ask you for their support, you act as if it doesn't matter to you because you've used them for what you needed to use them for. Actors like him are people that I handle with a long handled spoon because at the end of the day, even without all the coons and Uncle Toms he's being called, they will never be for me because they are for themselves at all times and they will try to save their own job and throw you under the bus like he did with his interview about Gabrielle, like it meant nothing at all. So let me know down below what you think. Do you think Terry's a coon or an Uncle Tom? Do you think that he should defend anyone besides himself? Do you think that black actors should just stick to themselves and not care about anyone else? Do you feel that what Terry did was wrong in any of the incidents I named? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in this crazy acting world. Y'all stay safe and see you online next time.